said the water is oh, right there. Yeah. It's the Indian River. There's a big bridge over there. I don't know if That's you can see like it. That's just like what we're on. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're on the exact same thing. We're going into the sky. dedicated cruise terminal here which they just redid it's very nice that is a smaller Royal Caribbean ship what is that try to go to Jetty Park but it says you can't enter without a pass and the sales are online only and I don't know how to do that but here's the Mardi Gras here is the carnival Mardi Gras with the bolt roller coaster on the top as you can see there's like cruise terminal parking right here okay I made a wrong turn <laughs> here's yeah, the you have to go all the way back around okay and then you turn up here too okay here's the view of the Disney uh, fantasy and the ship behind it that what? is how it won't let me I don't know what to do I took a wrong turn and we were trying to go to the exploration center and I missed the turn but the Royal Caribbean it did shoot but anyway here's the Disney cruise ship and the, the other the Royal Caribbean ship that's here is the Mariner of the Seas it's right there which is the last cruise we took okay our room isn't quite ready at our hotel. It's only 1.10 in the afternoon on Saturday, May 28th, 2022. And so we've decided, after taking a wrong turn and getting a very close-up look at the Disney Fantasy, including the Dumbo on the back, 
and um, seeing our um, last cruise ship, Mariner of the Seas, we are going to come to the Exploration Tower. I've always actually wanted to see this. There's a sign in the front that says that it's only open from 10 to 5 on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And today is Saturday. And I'm assuming that's probably because that's when most of the cruise ships leave, and so that's when there's a lot of activity in this area. So come with us and we'll go check it out. Okay, here's our rental car. It is a balmy 85, 85 degrees? It's humid. It's Florida. There's the Disney Fantasy right there. And Mariner's like behind those trees. And here's the Exploration Tower. There was also a sign that you can take helicopter tours, and here comes a helicopter right now. How are you folks today? We're fine, thank you. We're loving all the palm trees. There's these cool sun. Are those solar panels? Solar panels. Yeah. One thing we've kind of discovered, there's a lot of nice new hotels um, that look like they've just recently opened right near the port, but there's not much for restaurants. We had lunch from McDonald's, ate in the car. Um, there was a Burger King, a Wendy's. That was about it. <laughs> we drove quite a ways and we couldn't find anything else. So just be aware that if you're here for a night or two before or after your cruise, there's not a lot for restaurants. Ooh. The kids spotted some of the little tiny Florida lizards. There's two of them there. Yeah, the bigger one has a red neck. Remember, you saw that when we went when we got to Pop Century in 2019. You were all excited about the little lizard with yeah. the red neck. It's orange. There's I don't know if these are something you can tie your bike to, maybe. And there's some kind of walking path or dock thing. <laughs> I don't, it looks like you can make a full loop, maybe. I'm not real sure. And I don't know if this costs anything. We'll find out. When you, when you come inside, there's a little shop and they're recycled plastic. Ocean wildlife. Look at they're made out of hangers. That's so cool. And there's a gift shop here. And there's a little cafe. Okay, so here's what's on each level. Here's the little cafe. And then there's restrooms and water fountains right there. It does not appear to cost anything. Yeah. We've decided to start at the top. Taking the elevator. The lady in the front there just seems to be for people to buy stuff from the gift shop. Oh wow, <gasps> look at the view of the cruise ships. Okay. This is great. Is, is that free, Meg? This is really cool. This is really cool. Can we see the Mardi Gras? Oh yeah, barely. Oh yeah, the Mardi Gras is over just past that gentleman. Oh wow. The view on this is amazing. Is it? But there's lots of cargo and there's a tanker over there, lots of stuff going on at this port besides cruise ships. Okay. Go ahead, buddy. But there's Mariner of the Seas right there. And there's Disney Fantasy right there. See, and we accidentally drove over there and went right down there and then had to turn around and come back. And if you follow this highway, that way, it's about, what was it, like a 45 minute drive? Yeah. Back to the airport. Is this the Canaveral Lock? Is this what? The Canaveral Lock. Ah. Uh, 
I don't know. How do they get out? Oh. I don't know. How do the cruise ships go? How do they get out? I think they have to go here. Actually, where the I don't know. Do they have to go here and then out that way? We didn't take Mariner from here. We took Mariner out of, from Miami. And since we took it, it was moved. So I don't remember from our last Disney cruise if we were paying attention. Because yeah. our last one was Wonder and we left from here. I remember it was on like they were all on the line. Yeah. And then here, let me see if I can get Mardi Gras is there. See it? That's the stern. Left of the, but there's like a grain elevator or something, sand or something in the way. There's all these like informational signs. There's a low binoculars here for kids. Strong military presence at the port. We were over there looking at the cruise ships, and down here, there's not real wildlife. A sea turtle, and a dolphin, and an alligator. And a bug. And then there's a whole bunch of birds, and there's information about the birds. Bizarre bird isn't there. Oh, Bizarre Bird isn't there. We saw a bird the kids named Bizarre Bird. And then, Back here oh, up in the insect or you're about to step in the insect. Is uh we're in Brevard County and it shows you see like we are here and here's Port Canaveral and right here is the Air Force Station and there's the Kennedy Space Center and the airport and Walt Disney World is that way and then we drove down we drove down to about here before we gave up a turn around. Oh no, we got all the way to Cocoa Beach. Yeah. So, and you can see you have to cross the Indian River and the Banana River to get here. So you go across two causeway bridges. And then there's a bunch of information about the different things that there are to see. You can see, oh, there's our hotel. We are staying right there at the Hampton Inn and Home Two Suites. It's in one building, and then to the right of it is the Homewood Suites. So you can see there's there's hotels under construction even. Oh my gosh. Look at how many cars are parked at the port parking. Let me come back around here. We're back out by the cruise ships again. This is really neat. Ah. Look at the garbage can as a rocket ship. Now we're going down. Uh, it won't let us go to six. Well, quick look around. It's space stuff. But they won't let us go to six. Oh, it says we can only go to the ground floor gift shop oh. and the observation oh. deck. So the other levels are all closed. So yeah, this is like a. Ooh. Oh yeah, it looks like they're like storing stuff here and things. So just go to one. I asked the lady in the gift shop how to get to the nearest Target or Walmart because we need to pick up a few things. And she, hold on. And she used this map of the Port Canaveral area to draw me directions. And, and I just noticed on the backside that it shows you like where all the ships are, like where to go. 
It's a close-up of the port area. This was free. She just tore off a big pad of them.